Hey everyone, welcome to Megan Sullivan Art. Um, been crafting today, hence the nice yellow and gold fingers. Um, here today to present you my design team project for May for Lavender Blue Shop um, on Etsy. All of Fiona's relevant social media details will and links will be down below in the description. Um, I chose for this month her Be Happy um, journal kit and Honey to the Bee scrapbook papers. So they're two separate um, items on her um, shop. So I'll put the links for both of those here. Um, so the, the Honey to the Bee scrapbook papers are more background pages. So you can use them as straight, simple pages um, to add in amongst all the very decorative um, Be Happy beautiful um, journal pages. They're just absolutely stunning. So what I decided to do was I printed the kit twice because um, the journal kit doesn't come with ephemera, it's um, pages. And I've created my own ephemera with the um, second copy of the journal kit. Um, there are some Artie Mays elements in here from her The Bee Garden kit and also one envelope and some little journal cards from Figaro Designs from her Beehive Whisper, Whisper kit um, just because they were elements that I had left over from when I did a B channel many 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 months ago anyway so true to my form this is an absolute monster um, it has four signatures um, it is 16 by 22 by 12 centimeters on the spine <laughs> um, and it has 220 pages I think might be a couple more than that I'm not 100% sure so that's the top showing the four these are tags that have those and the side view, which is the sari silk that I have coloured up with alcohol inks today, hence the yellow hands. Um, it's got metal book corners front and back, and the back is plain, and this um, beautiful fabric is, is very metallic and very shimmery, so I hope that's able to be picked up. Uh, the image here is from one of the kit pages, which I printed half size. This is one of the um, Honey to the Bee background papers. And this is some fabric with Honey to the Bee. This is just some stenciling that I did. You'll see that throughout the journal. Um, and we've got a book plate there. This isn't removable. That's not able to be slipped in. And we've got four beautiful Da Monte brads. Um, and the fabric here just covers the stitching from the spine. And you'll see just the little sections at the bottom there. Um, so the outside's pretty simple, but the inside's absolutely jam-packed. Um, so it is absolutely chock-a-block full. So we've got... Um, there's tea dyed papers, there's vellum that I've used, there's book pages, stenciling, tucks, flips, envelopes, fabric ruffles, trims, eco dyed papers, lots of ephemera, there's belly bands, there's buttons sewn on um, and all sorts of different stuff. So on the inside cover, um, here is um, one of the kit pages, which I've trimmed down to make a pocket. This is the Honey to the Bee background papers and just another section that I have um, just glued on there. This is one of my fluid art little pieces. Um, it would have been an earring at some point or not been used, but yeah. Often if I did poured resin for earrings and one of them was a dud, I kept the other one and repurposed it. So I've stuck that on there. Um, so all the full pages that you'll see like this are the um, Be Happy journal kit pages. Absolutely stunning. Just vibrant and beautiful, gorgeous. Um, I did make my own background papers as well. Um, just very simple. These are public domain images. I think I got them off of pixabay.com and just some elements that I was able to just um, put on top. So these are, this is a part of one of Fiona's pages from Be Happy. This is my stenciling that I did on watercolour paper. So that forms a double tuck. Um, this is, so this is part of a page. Um, that was my uh, lace, plastic lace doily coffee dyeing that I did. And this is one of the Artie Mays elements, which has just been backed uh, with eco dyed paper. And I've just done some light stenciling, honeycomb stenciling. This is the Honey to the Bee background page. It's got a, a Queen Bee stamp on there. Um, yeah, so all the pockets and tucks are basically made from the Be Happy journal kit. Um, so there's some um, stenciling on vellum, which I've used as a second pocket. This is an Artie Mays element, just with a stencil. So this is part of the Be Happy kit, which I've turned into a tag and just printed a background um, beehive image. 
Um, these were Artie Mays as well, but what I did was just cut them hexa hexagon shapes and back them and sometimes stencil them. So they've just been placed to the swing tag. So you can choose to either glue it down or write on the back of it. Just a bit of stenciling. This is, um, I think it's called Wild Honey, a distress ink from Tim Holtz. Kids book page with a bit of blingy bee fabric. A bit more fabric. So some of these are repairs where paper had torn and others are just embellishments. So this, this is more vellum, which I've done a faint honeycomb stencil and it was with gold. So it's, it's shimmery. Um, this is an over the page thing. This came from a magazine, this particular image. And I have uh, turned it into an ephemera pocket. So there's a postcard there, a little jar. So these are both Artie Mays, but this is the Be Happy kit. And that's a magazine image there. So that just flips over the side. And this kit's actually really versatile. You could actually, um, there's a background page. Um, you could actually make quite a lot of decorative pockets by just double, you know, printing it twice and cutting them out and fussy cutting them and sticking them on. So here's another um, flip up there. It's got purple with purple stenciling and a fabric flip, which is back to tea dyed paper. Just to reinforce it. Some floral stenciling on the, the vellum there. Book page. Real eco dye. Be happy kit. Um, one of my backgrounds. Just a repair here with this um, paper. And I've just put this beautiful button on there. Um, that, I can't remember who I got that from. It might have been Lisa Hanrahan. I'm not 100% sure, but they're really beautiful. Um, all the middle of the signatures have two B charms on there they're all the same and all the fabrics I've used have bees on them Oops. Um, be happy kit another one from the be happy kit which I've turned into a tag printed a honeycomb background more stenciling on vellum um, so here we have a double belly band. So this is a section from the Be Happy kit, just with my stenciling in the background. So it forms a double belly band. This is a piece from Fiona's Pages. And this was the Artie Mays one, which is another little hexagon. Had the biggest time trying to draw a hexagon. It was insane to make a, um, a stencil for it. Anyway, a bit of honey uh, beehive stenciling there. Um, this is a magazine tag, and I've just added a piece from uh, the digital kit on there. A bit of beehive stenciling and a cutout from Fiona's kit from Be Happy. Because it is quite a beautiful floral kit, this one, so I just added those elements in. The Honey to the Bee. Uh, that's an Artie Mays. Just a piece I had left over with some stenciling. So this is what I've done here. This is a piece of uh, Fiona's kit and the stenciled vellum. The This was actually my one of my friend's wedding invitations and she had lots of them left over. Uh, this is from years and years ago. Anyway, so she gave them to me to use and I've got this beautiful rose there. I've stenciled, I've stuck on some papers, I've put some rice paper there and I've stenciled on the back just to turn that into a beautiful writing space and there's a a stenciled vellum pocket there. Uh, one of Artie Mays' envelopes, they're empty, but what I have done, these ones were stitched with paper, so you can actually um, use those for journaling, or you could um, glue them up and use them for putting something in, that's no problem. Uh, what are we called? Be Happy Kit, <laughs> my background page, another fabric flip reinforced with tea dyed paper on the vellum with gold glittery thing. Um, a pocket, there's a couple of journal cards in there. That's an Artie Mays one. Uh, another Artie Mays element, I think. Um, the Honey to the Bee background papers. Another swing tag here. Uh, this is one of Fiona's, another piece from a page. Another swing tag background that's an Artie Mays um, another double belly band so this is a piece from the Be Happy kit backed onto orange rice paper and this is um, um, a public domain image which is um, the poem an ode 
O to B, a honeybee. And that's got some stenciling on the back. So double belly band there. And this image, this background is the honey to the bee background papers or scrapbooking papers. And that's some um, Be Happy Kit. Oh, and I have rounded all the pages too, rounded all the corners. This is another one from the magazine. That's from Fiona's kit. And it's just cardstock on the back. Floral stenciling on vellum. Um, this is a Figaro Designs envelope. So what I've done is just use some of the offcuts from the Be Happy kit um, and just added those on. And there's just some journaling cards that match that inside. Be Happy. Stunning, stunning. My backgrounds, the Artie Mays um, hexagon there. These. That's my background. Be Happy. Beautiful um, eco dyeing there. So we've got a double pocket. So we've got a magazine tag here with an element from the Be Happy kit, um, as is that piece there. So that's in the vellum tuck. And this is another one from the Be Happy. This is an Artie Maze. I just wanted to use up those pieces that I had. Oh, excuse the dog's barking. So this is the Honey to the Bee background papers. An element from Be Happy. This is just a yellow envelope that I've collaged from some of the elements from this kit. Stenciling and inside is just some different, um, there's offcuts and extra bits and pieces and some little images that you can use for decoration. And in here we have a tag from this kit, which is a page that I've trimmed up and printed on the back of. And then we've got a huge journal card back here. This is a, an image from the public domain and that is backed onto eco dyed paper. On there some definitions there glossary some honeycomb stenciling and there's lots of space in between the signatures so you can fatten it up a lot more be happy both sides there a be happy tag that I've made with a honeycomb print um, I created this page just very simply um, another swing tag there which is um, from, that is an Artie Mays tag, but you could very easily do that with any element of this particular digital kit. So many options. Um, this is a piece from one of Fiona's pages, which I've backed onto a green textured paper. And on the other side is a little mason jar or honey jar, which is um, an Artie Mays element. Sorry, while well, I fumble to clip those back on. Okay, so Be Happy Kit, very beautiful, that's mine, my design. Um, another magazine image with a piece of from the Be Happy Kit, um, that's an offcut as well from this kit. Um, the background papers, so this is a piece from the page from the Be Happy. And we've got a double belly band again, which is also from the Be Happy Kit, and that was an Artie Mays postcard there. Another piece from this kit, just an offcut that I've backed. Um, another Artie Mays bit. So here again, I've fussy cut out a portion of the Be Happy kit to use as a tuck. And then we've got a vellum pocket behind that. So this is a piece from the Be Happy kit with some eco dyed paper and stenciling. And that's that one there. The background, um, Honey to the Bee, Eco Dyed, stunning. You can see where I cut out this piece, you would have seen that on the back of one of the tags. And then we've got the bees and the fabric. There's that button, really gorgeous. Absolutely love that. And the background pages are fantastic, so you could, yeah, you could definitely turn those into something different too. Um, up here we've got another swing tag with a fabric flip backed onto tea dyed paper. This is the Honey to the Bee. This is um, just a big over the page image which is public domain and then I've just backed it with the uh, lace coffee dyed paper. That's one thing I've created. Be happy. Just, and that's the image I've used on the front cover but it's just been scaled down by half for the cover. Another double tuck with a piece of the kit there and another one of my friend's invitations. 
with pink this time in the back there so this is um, I think it was a watercolor paper another page from the kit turned into a journal card with some stenciling and eco dyed paper more floral stenciling on vellum uh, this is another Artie Mays envelope which has got a, a green rip dyed paper lining that one I believe honey to the uh, sorry be happy digital kit and that's the piece that I had turned into a little journal card previously and this one I've used as a pocket corner pocket another Artie Mays envelope this has got the florals in the gold that time the honeybee so this is another one of the pages from be happy and the lady you would have seen on the other page this is um I just created an envelope out of this piece here um and then inside there's just a teeny tiny postcard the swing tag so this is from Fiona's kit I've just cut that piece off of the page so there's lots of fussy cutting options you can do with these papers and they're just beautiful uh, and they've all been printed this is um, photo matte paper another envelope which has got um, stenciling and a bit of collage there and we've just got some other little elements for decorating the journal the honey to the bee kit um, scrapbooking papers Another over the page one which is backed with eco dyed paper and these this background and that image are freely available on the internet as well they're not um, copyrighted bit of stenciling there um, so another double belly band um, this is actually a coffee cup and when I saw it had bees and I went oh my god don't throw that away so I've obviously cleaned it all up and kept it all and I've backed it with the um, lace coffee dyed paper and this is another piece from the Be Happy kit, which I've turned into a journal tag or journal card. Stunning. And I love this lime green background with the roses or the flowers. Um, that's just something I came up with. Got the honeybees in the middle on the string. Another magazine tag, which has got some stenciling on the back there with tea dyed paper. Uh, and over the page, this is from a book, and I just kept this page because it had the honeybee in the middle. It's got a mozzie and a wasp, and that's on eco dyed paper. And I've stitched, everything is pretty much with bright orange thread, because uh, there is a lot of orange elements through these papers, so that's where I've pulled that in. Um, a fabric flip again on tea dyed paper. Um, another piece from the journal kit. This one is white on the back. Um, this is a repair from a big tear, so you could choose to cover that up or just write around that stitching there. Another off cut that I've just used. I haven't really thrown anything away at all. I've used every piece that I could. Um, another page with lemon, kind of pale lemon rice paper. Another off cut and a journal card, postcard from Artie Mays. Um, the Honey to the Bee backgrounds. That one there. Another swing tag with some collage. Beautiful Be Happy kit. So stunning. There's lots of different colours you could pull from that kit too to, to create your journal. So that's got the floral stenciling there the, the uh, honey to the bee backgrounds and I did this sort of wavy stitching all the way through it just reminded me of bees you know flying around and the final page from the be happy kit and there's some of that lace that I had used and um, we've got a, a side tuck here with a piece from the kit so this was the opposite side to the image on the front cover and just backed onto some sort of olive green cardstock we've just got a bit of an off cut there that I've fussy cut and put on and just a little um, blue and greeny colored one of my fluid up little pendant pieces there so in the front cover um, what you will get is this beautiful envelope that my friend had given me and inside is a stunning stunning card which is all embossed and everything it's beautiful so that one will come with this 
as well. Um, you also get a note from the bookmaker, which is something I always include, which explains what on earth to do with a piece of art like this <laughs> and other ways that you can use journals and things like that if you happen to be someone who's not, you know, has never done this before. And there's a sticker, which is an ex libris, so that's one of the um, this book belongs to type things. So there's space to write a name and that's the sticky back so you can put that, um, use that however you like. So that comes with the front of in the front of the journal. So that's it. That is my design team project for May for Lavender Blue. Um, yeah, and shortly I'll, I'll organise to get this one up on my Etsy shop. But if anyone is interested, just give me a hoy. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a monster. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm very, very happy with this one. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.